Welcome back everyone. I've got something pretty cool that I want to share with you guys today. This is the new phone from Sony. This is another Xperia. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. What is significant about the Xperia 1 Mark IV is this new lens that we've got in the configuration here. I don't know if you can see this here. So the telephoto lens that's over here, well, this is actually a zoom lens. This is a first for a phone. We have never had an optical zoom lens in a phone. So typically you can zoom in a phone. And let's say you're going between two different lenses. So let's say the standard lens, so the 24 millimeter lens or so that's in the middle and you're going out towards the telephoto. Well, the way it makes up for that difference between this focal length and this focal length is it just does a digital zoom and just digitally enlarges everything until you get to the next optic. This phone is actually very cool. It's a folded optic, so it sits sideways in the phone, but what it does is between 85 and 125, it gives you an actual optical zoom with optical image stabilization. It's pretty awesome. Awesome. So I want to drill down and talk about the Xperia 1 Mark IV, but real quick, I do want to note that this is a pre-production version of this phone, which means this is not really a full review. I'm just going to give you my first impressions. When you have a pre-production of a phone, typically it means there are some software tweaks that will be made before the version that actually goes public comes out. So this is a little bit of a preview, but I'm pretty excited about what we're seeing here. So before I drill down into the cameras, let me give you the general specifications for this phone. So first of all, the Xperia 1 Mark IV features a Snapdragon. Dragon 8 Generation 1 mobile platform chipset. It supports 5G sub-6 networking. We've got 12 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage. The screen is the Sony ultra wide angle that they've been using on all the Xperia phones, the, the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It is a 6.5 inch 4K HDR OLED screen that runs up to a refresh rate of 120 hertz. We have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which allows you with a 30 watt charger to get up to 50% in just 30 minutes. Also features wireless charging support. It's one of the few phones left that still features a headphone jack. It's IP6568 weatherproof. It features Corning Gorilla Glass Victus for the screen. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a first for a phone. It's got an optical zoom lens for the telephoto lens in here. So it's an 85 to 125 millimeter. It's sort of a portrait focal length. It is very effective. It's an excellent camera system. And that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. So all of the lenses and sensors on this camera have raw support. They all feature 120 frames per second real-time autofocus tracking. They all have IAF and feature a 20 frames per second burst rate. I want to talk about the camera system on this phone because it's extremely unique and Sony's approach to smartphone photography is very different than a company like let's say Apple or even Google with their Pixel phones. Whereas those companies tend to have a heavy-handed approach towards computational imaging. Now computational imaging is very impressive. Basically what that means is that we're going to take the limit limitations of the phone, enhance it digitally. We're going to be able to do things like zooming and HDR. We're going to give you a nice image. So you really don't have to think about it. And that is a, a, it's a really good way to go, I think, from a consumer perspective, because people don't have to think with an iPhone. They just take a picture. Now, Sony has a slightly different approach to this in that they do have computational imaging under the hood with these cameras also, but they also allow you to treat this from a traditional camera perspective. So if you're somebody who doesn't want everything automated and done for you and you want to be able to take the control a little bit away from that and treat it more like a traditional camera, well, that is certainly here. And as we have seen with the other Xperia 1 models, we have the dedicated camera key. So you can use this as a hotkey to bring up the camera. You can also use it much like you would a traditional camera. So in other words, you're going to half press to autofocus, fully press to shoot. And with the Xperia 1 Mark IV now, we have the addition of the optical zoom lens with that portrait range. So you're not going to do any digital zooming in there, which is going to give you much better quality than trying to enhance an image by creating pixels that don't actually exist. We're doing this with the optics. And so that's a big upgrade. The image quality that I'm getting out of this phone is absolutely outstanding. For all these example images, I shot them raw, but the JPEG images look great too. But if you want that maximum flexibility, and what I've been doing with these is I simply have Lightroom Mobile on my phone. A lot of these are done with my latest preset pack, which are film simulations. And so I can do all of my editing right there on the phone. I have much more control over the image than I do, let's say, with an iPhone. And this phone is a lot of fun to shoot on. I'm getting really good results on it and I'm really pleased with the image quality that I'm getting. And just to note, if you were 
interested in my film simulation presets, I'll put a link in the description below this video. Another thing that sets Xperia phones apart is Sony's intention to create tools for people who create content. In other words, these are optimized for people who want to do everything from making videos to taking photos to even live streaming. And this does have live streaming features that I'm really excited about. And one of them that's really big is the ability to live stream direct to YouTube. And after this phone is announced, I'm going to try that a little bit. It's kind of part of the NDA right now. But if you've ever done live streaming on YouTube, especially back in the old days, this used to be a multi-step process and it was really kind of difficult and challenging sometimes to get things to talk to the server. But this one just does it in one click, which is very cool. Another feature that you guys have seen before is on the Xperia Pro, we have the addition of an HDMI input. So we can take an output signal from a proper camera. You can use that as a monitor or even use the 5G capabilities for live streaming. And a lot of that has sort of trickled down to the Xperia 1 4 as well. Now we don't have an HDMI input, but it will support USB monitoring. And this is really important because, you know, sometimes to buy an external monitor to use for a camera, a lot of them are much bigger and they're much more expensive. And this allows you to use your phone to take over that function as well. So that's very cool. And there's also some really cool features for gaming support as well as audio recording that I'll test in the future when I have a full production version of this phone. But I think it's something that you're really going to like and you're going to be excited about because I think that's what Sony does best is they have a makeup of a corporation that has all kinds of different departments that make everything from audio devices to televisions to cameras. And with their intention of making a phone that incorporates all of that into it, I think you end up with something that's a very powerful tool specifically for content creation. A couple other first impressions, and of course this is a photography channel, so of course I'm going to center in on the cameras and really talk about those. But there's a couple other things worth mentioning too. The screen is incredible, the battery life has been much better in the last couple of versions of this phone. We've got a 5,000 milliamp battery right now. So with the previous Xperia versions, and this is a little thing, but sometimes with the fingerprint reader, when you went to unlock the phone, you would get a lot of false reads. It would lock you out and you know, enter your passcode. They've tightened that up on this, and I'm not having that problem at all. And it's like a lot of the little things. It's really impressive because I think Sony now have a phone that really is starting to compete, and it's really exciting to see from that perspective. Of course, this is a consumer end phone that does a lot of those things, and the Xperia Pro is still available if you want something that's more high end. It's going to be a more specific tool to content production, but I think they have a real winner with the Mark IV. So a few observations and my first impressions with the Xperia 1 Mark IV. I would love to do a full review if I can get a copy of this phone later on down the line. So leave me comments and let me know what you would like to hear in that review. And uh, I'm really impressed with the image quality that I'm getting out of here. I think the camera system is outstanding. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys then. Later.